Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day, and our colony is still going just fine. I got some news today, actually, that I'm going to be on military orders for the next week or two, going back to my old... Uh, my old courthouse desk job for a, a, just a very short while, just kind of a special thing that they need some help with. Um, so videos may be a little bit lighter than normal. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get enough done. Uh, I'm recording this right now on Saturday. I'm hoping I'll be able to get enough done this coming, uh, this weekend that you guys won't even notice that I'm gone, but we'll have to see. If, if videos are a little bit light for, uh, for a week or two, that's why. Uh, nothing to worry about, and it's an office desk job, so don't worry about my safety or anything like that. The most dangerous thing there is the low quality of the coffee. Um, <laughs> but anyway, our colony is going pretty well. Uh, we've fought off some raids recently. We managed to pick up a mortar, uh, and you guys told me that this ring is not the range. This is actually the minimum range of the mortar, so it can hit everything outside of this circle, and that's actually great for us. Um, I'm thinking maybe what we want to do is move this wooden shelf to over here so that the mortar shells are kept near the mortar itself. That might be a good idea. Uh, maybe not, maybe it is, I don't know, but either way, uh, we'll, we'll think about that. Um, severe illness, codex. In, oh, oh no, you're, you're gonna be fine. You're perfectly fine. Your immunity, you're almost immune. You'll be okay. And how's Dweeb's infection doing? Also fine. Okay, they're gonna be okay. No, nothing to worry about there. They'll fight off the infection, no problem, and, and everything will be good. Uh, okay, so looking at our food supplies, we're a bit low on meat right now. We should probably do something about that. Yeah, I know, severe illness, blah, blah, blah. That's fine, it's fine. Uh, so let's see, what can we hunt? Maybe a couple raccoons. Maybe some turkeys. And then there are a fair amount of deer down here. Uh... Oh, I already have hunt orders on them. Okay, that's fine. So we're probably going to be going to do that very soon. Um, this needs to get built, and we are building it. You guys also said there's another geothermal generator right here, and there is, and I will do something with that in a little bit. Uh, let's say these right here. Get those out of there to make room for the... Uh, we're going to put a geothermal generator right here as well. But for now, let's put that there. We're just kind of building these a, a little bit at a time, building them up. You know, it's all good. You, you have immunity. You have immunity. We can probably clear the prioritized work. Oh, a poison ship. Way down there. This actually seems like a great opportunity to wow there's actually quite a lot of cover over here already this seems like a great opportunity to try out our mortar so let's do this let's take let's deconstruct this one and let's reinstall that over here and we'll maybe try out the mortar and see how that thing works i don't like the fact that this is right next to this generator uh, but we're gonna have to do something about this, for sure. There's gonna be all sorts of nasty things. The poison's gonna cause some problems. Um... <laughs> I think we can probably build off of this. Now, when this thing pops out, we're gonna get, uh, some sort of a super alien thing that's gonna attack me. So let's go granite blocks. And let's just make, let's make a couple little like areas for our people to shoot through. Oh, cancel. Let's do that. We'll kind of surround these and then we'll go security, sandbags, 
and will basically surround this whole thing with sandbags like so. Disease. Okay, that's no good. And then a visitor. She seems to have a few items to trade. Um, Kodak, how is your social? You don't, you don't social. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. We'll wait till Mo wakes up. And once Mo is awake, we'll send Mo over to, to chat with the visitor. He should be awake any minute now. Come on. There you go. You're awake. Go trade. And an item stash opportunity. Okay, here we go. So what are you selling? You are selling a bunch of junk that I have no interest in. Uh, we can sell you some of these dead man's clothes and stuff that I don't really need. Uh, we could also sell, like, this statue. And then as far as buying, you're not really selling... You're selling, like, herbal medicine and pemmican, neither of which I really need. So let's just do... Oh, uh, go back. Tell you what, we'll buy the herbal medicine. There you go. Call it good. Yes, I know about the item stash opportunity. It's all good. It's fine. And now what we need to... Uh, flash storm? Okay, lovely. We're gonna have fires popping up all over the place. Hopefully nobody will get... Uh... Hopefully this will turn into a rainy thunderstorm. I mean, it's not gonna be able to spread through our walls. It won't be able to get inside the compound, so... It's okay. We Speaking of which, we probably should... Uh, put herbal medicine there, and let's just look real quick, home area, let's expand all of this so we actually fight this fire. They're gonna get up there and deal with that. This one I'm not even concerned with. The, I mean, it's the bad news is it's gonna burn down a lot of trees and stuff, but we're fine on lumber, so I'm not that concerned about it. I guess, yeah, let's, let's put out the fire over here. I wanna make sure this gets put out. We'll let them deal with all this. And then this will get constructed. And there is, thanks to this power line, we we actually can run a couple turrets down here and stuff as well. Uh, which we will. Let's go turrets. Maybe we put a turret here. Here. Here and here. And then we'll run a power conduit uh, over like so. And that should, that should be able to power all of this, I think. That's my hope anyway. We'll have to see. Um, okay, this is good. So, Mo, how does this work? Man, steal, okay, so you just tell him to get on it. And I'm assuming that's something that would probably be based on your shooting skill. So we'll want to get someone with a high shooting skill over there. Uh, and temporarily, constructing needs to be a, a priority for all of my constructor people so that we can get this done. Uh, also, this, this fire over here needs to be dealt with. And we can clear this section up here from being part of the home area. There we go. Ace, you're fighting the fire by yourself. That seems like a very bad idea. Wake up, people. Come on. Go help fight go help fight the fire. This fire is going to like expand and and attack all sorts of things, but and it's 4 degrees below freezing outside right now, which is not good either. You'd think it'd be a little warmer by the fire, but I guess... Hey, yo, hey. This is basically still in the home area. D deal with it. Okay. Okay, we're good. Now, this fire's gonna spread outwards and... Well, actually, it kind of looks like it's going out. Maybe it'll... Yeah, no. No, it's definitely going out. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. That's fine. All right, let's get this stuff down here constructed. We're gonna run really low on steel, unfortunately, but uh, we need to deal with this ship. 
and quickly because it's going to cause me problems otherwise. Hard snow? Snow reduces the accuracy of ranged weapons, extinguishes fires. Okay, so that's why the fire went down, and then it slows people down. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, are these turrets off? Yes. We'll probably want to turn these turrets off as well. But we're going to try a mortar. Oh, okay. Eclipse. That's no good. That's going to cause us some issues. Hurt our power. Well, actually, most of our power generation at this point is geothermal, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. The big thing is I do want to really get this stuff constructed uh, as quickly as possible so that we can finish building this. And so we can have this uh, this uh, as a protected area, if that makes sense. Lots of people on minor break risk. Lots of people on minor break risk. Basically everybody. That's no good. Oh well. We're going to have to deal with this anyway. And I should actually check. Do we have a... Do we have a... Like a... A grenade launcher? We have incendiary launchers. Do we have anything that actually launches, like, grenades, explosives, not just, uh, poor... That's actually a pretty decent assault rifle. We should see. Ace is rocking an assault rifle. Basically, everyone's rocking... Weapons of some sort. The sniper rifle... The, the problem with the sniper rifle, like, it hits hard, but it's... It's just very, uh, it takes forever to aim. That's the problem with the sniper rifle. So we're going to have to do something about that. Cargo pods. With huh, smoke, smoke leaf leaves. Lovely. Okay. Well, we can unforbid those for the time being. I don't think they will do anything with them until they're made into actual, like, stuff. Uh, I, I don't think they'll do anything with the raw leaves. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will, but alright, we got another generator in place. That's great. That's gonna really help our power situation. What is this right here? That's a turret. Okay. So this thing is up and running. We're putting down sandbags. Uh, we should actually probably put a sandbag like over here the big thing is we're going to want to post up our uh, our colonists behind these walls and stuff so you know we're getting turrets in place and all that kind of stuff just sort of preparing to fight off all these enemies um mo you were the one with the sniper rifle right equip this assault rifle instead it's a better weapon and then, let's say, maybe my will give you actual grenades for this. Because we've got these frag grenades. Yeah, let's do that. My equip these frag grenades right here. Cold snap. Okay, lovely. Now it's going to be super cold outside. Which is actually not good. <laughs> At all, because that cold snap's going to go on for a while, but I really want to deal with this before things get really bad. Although everyone should have, like, parkas and stuff at this point, so we should be okay. I think. All my heaters are on. Need warm clothes. Who... Who is it? Who? It doesn't say who. Ace and... Ace. Oh, Okay. Bills. Um. Well. Hmm. So temporarily. Ace, don't you have an excellent shooting skill? You do. So temporarily, Ace, you are confined to within the compound. And then hopefully you'll spend minimal time outside and you'll be able to basically stay indoors for the most part. 
is what I'm hoping. This cold snap is definitely going to be a problem, though. Like, we need to keep people inside if we can. And this is almost done. This area over here. Minor break risks. Three of my colonists lack warm clothes. Hmm. So, parkas should really be a thing. Uh, looks like pants have been made. You're making toques. Okay. Is this all built yet? It's not. How much steel? Am I completely out of steel? I think I'm completely out of steel. Okay, so we are going to cancel this. I can't believe I went through all that steel. That's insanity. Okay, so let's deal with this problem, like, right now, before it gets any worse. So, Ace, I hate to say it, you're drafted. Come over here, man the mortar. You're drafted. Come down here. You guys are all drafted. Come down here, except for Aaron. You stay. Uh, let's just restrict Aaron. Actually, no. Aaron, you're still drafted. Even though you can't fight, you're still drafted. I want you to come down here. Uh, and let's cancel this and cancel this. Okay. Okay. Wait for all the colonists to get down here. There we go. My, I'm going to post you up like right here. Maycar will put you like, uh, let's see. Put, um, actually we'll put my like right here. Matthew here, Codex here. Aaron, I'm going to have you like fall back a little bit. Smelly. Uh, no, dude, you're drafted. You also are drafted. And you're drafted. Why are you guys thinking that you can be undrafted? Sky. And. Makar. Okay, no, guys. <laughs> Stay drafted. I have you here for a reason. Veronica, get behind cover? No! Oh my... Stay! <laughs> Stay put! Uh, my... Aaron, we're just gonna put you over here. Okay, this is good. So now... This is manned. Set forced target. Right there. That, so that's done some damage. You guys attack this. Ace. Uh, actually, mortar. Set force target. Right here. Oh, and there's other aliens too. Okay. No, dude, dweeb. You're drafted. Come over here. Get, uh, get behind cover. You idiot. Okay, now all of you attack this, and you guys attack this as well. How's this thing doing health-wise? It's hurt. Dude, that- those grenades are doing amazing things. Like, look at the- look at the damage just- why are you guys not attacking? Attack this? There we go. Okay. Now, attack the ship. You're... I don't know why these things are not, like... Dude, Mo, you guys are not free from the draft. You're, you're still drafted. Sky, also, get out of the line of fire. Idiots. Okay. There we go. Now, finish this thing off. And you, you're undrafted. You're fine now. Okay. There we go. Finished. 
Is this thing dead? It is. All right, you're all undrafted. Uh, Mo? No, I don't want you to bury it. I want you to haul it. Uh, Makar, you can haul it. What's this? Silver? We'll say haul a lot of this stuff, and then we want to go deconstruct. Basically, like, all of this. Everything we constructed over here. And we made it through that in one piece. Nobody got significantly injured. How many mortar shells do we have left? We still have nine? Shell is loaded. Okay, good. So I think we're fine. And now what we want to do... Uh, Codex? What are you... Oh, you're, you're still... Uh... Okay. This is fine. Uh, and... We will unrestrict everybody... Animal starvation, dead, uh, wait, animals. All the animals are unrestricted. Someone needs to feed the husky. Uh, Matthew, can you do that? I think it's the husky, right? The husky's having problems. So we're gonna have to let the dogs do their thing, but Ace, what are you doing right now? You're you're going to bed. Okay, fine. Whew. Made it through. Another alien attack. Fend it off, which is good. Uh, and we can deconstruct this power line. We don't need that anymore. That'll get us a little bit of steel back, as will deconstructing all of this. Uh, and we can also say this, all these people who are a one on construction, you're now a two on construction. Because we don't need to prioritize this construction anymore. Mental break, codex, joy deprived. Okay, fine. Whatever. I don't know what else I can do for joy. I've given you televisions. I've given you a billiards table. I've given you horseshoes. Like it's, I can only do so much for your joy. I give you, I give you like three hours of joy time a day, or maybe two. Either way, you've got plenty of time to be happy about stuff. If you're not utilizing it, that's your own fault. All right, we're getting a bunch of our steel back. That's good. We do need to find some more steel deposits. Is that steel? No, that's silver. I don't know. I feel like there's really not that much more steel on the map. Which is problematic for sure. So we may have to start prioritizing buying steel and buying components. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, our steel is coming back now. That's good. At least two colonists. I don't... Uh, Ace is one of them. I'm not sure who the other one is, though. Aaron, maybe? No, you're wearing a parka. Codex? No, you've got a parka, too. Parka, parka. Might be Sky. Sky kind of needs a parka. My... You've got a jacket. Vest... Veronica, I bet. No, you have a jacket as well. I'm not sure who's... Who's having issues. But whatever. It says two of our colonists don't have enough clothes. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that. Starvation. Codex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Codex is wandering around right now, and there's not much I can do about it. We're dangerously low on food. Okay, so... Hunting? Should probably be made into... A priority for, like, everybody who can hunt. Um, which means we need to find animals and stuff to hunt. So there's a couple of ibex up here. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's really it. There's not a whole lot of animals left. Uh, we can take these off of allowed sowing because we're not going to be able to grow anything in the middle of winter. Bad seasonal... T oh, it, it's that cold indoors? Holy... That's probably as a result of the cold snap because this heater is on. Bulk goods. Okay. Codex has collapsed. Exotic goods trader with a relationship. Someone had a relationship here. Rice plant has died from the cold. Yeah, well, I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We need to get hunting done, though. Get some food in here. Our food supplies, we have, we have 31 simple meals left. That's it? Wow. That is problematic, for sure. So what we should probably do... Oh, that's a timber wolf. Just kidding. I thought that was a raccoon. That's a bad plan. Let's not attack the timber wolf. Because it's it will attack back, and it, it will probably kill whoever is attacking it. Fox we can hunt. There's just not that many animals around. You know what we should do? Mo, you're awake. Come talk to these guys. Let's see if they are selling any type of food. They are sell no, they're they're buying simple meals, not selling them. Uh we will buy all of their components. They're not really selling any sort of meals, unfortunately. Um, hmm. And they're not really selling anything I'm interested in either. I guess we'll just buy the components. It's a start. There are still some conduits here that we can deconstruct as well. But yeah, we need food. And we need food pretty badly. There's a hair. But it's just one. There are no animals! Send me a, a pack of manhunter beasts of some sort. That would be lovely. Couple of wild boars over here. We need to do food stuff. This cold snap is really causing problems. There are people who have relationships with your colonists or prisoners in the arriving villager fowler. Who is f this person? Okay, well. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do there. Uh... Codex, where are you at? You're eating food. Okay, good. Now sleep. Get over your hypothermia and all that kind of stuff. There's a bunny rabbit here we can hunt. Looks like the cold snap is finally over, so that's good. So I think what we need to do is change both of these to rice temporarily. Because we have a pretty fair amount of heal root at this point. Is this one of my pigs? It is. We can kill the pig if we need to. I'd prefer not to, just because they're they're making pig babies and stuff. But if we need to, we will. And Maya's making more food. So that's good. What's the temperature like in here? 14? Um, those of you who can grow, we're going to say that's a priority for those of you who can do it. Because we need to get food going or we're going to be in a very bad spot very soon. I do think, though, that we are out of time for this episode. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. 
Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.